Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super exciting video and that is skincare in your 20s. Taking care of your skin from your early to mid 20s and even your late teens is so important and really sets you up for the next 10, 20, 30 years. At this point in your life you really want to focus on taking care of the skin that you have now and preserving it now for those years to come. I did go to beauty school and get my aesthetics license, so I am a skincare specialist. So I'm going to be sharing some tips with you on how to prevent wrinkles, because everyone wants to do that. One huge thing I learned in beauty school is that we cannot reverse the effects of aging, we can only slow them down. So it's kind of like common sense to just start your anti-aging skincare now, so that way we're slowing you down now as opposed to trying to get rid of those wrinkles that just like popped up on your face one day and you looked in the mirror and you were like, when did this happen? You're like, my worst nightmare. <laughs> One of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to anti-aging skincare and people my age using it, people are always like, oh, you don't need that, you don't need that. And it's like, okay, like, when will I need it? Like, when I see all the fine lines and wrinkles and have a freaking Wi-Fi side on my forehead, like, come on, it's kind of just obvious. I mean, Liv Cheryl, I just want to use my eye cream. 20s, it's really easy to kind of neglect self-care um, and just live in the moment and not think about the years in your future ahead of you, but it is so important to think about your skin and your health right now so that way in the future you can really see where you took the time to take care of yourself and just do a lot of self-care. Literally the biggest thing about skincare in your 20s is hydrating. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I cannot stress this enough. Whether that's from an outside source or, you know, drinking a lot of water and getting from an inside source, anything really works. Um, make sure you drink a lot of water. You know, in your early 20s, it's so easy to over abuse alcohol and partying, but let me tell you, that really has an effect on your skin. I'm sorry to break the news. I talked to my brother before and he's run into people from my high school who are my age and he said that they look like they're about 35. And you know why? Because they're partying all the time and you can tell from their Instagram posts and it really shows up on their skin. Imagine them later in life. I'm not saying don't ever drink obviously, but just like don't abuse it. Really think about your body and your face and your skin. Just now for future years to come. It's all about being preventative right now because that's really all we can do in this moment is just be preventative and you know think a little bit more and be a little bit more cautious about how we treat ourselves and our body and our skin. Another way to hydrate is to use oils. Um, there's a lot of good oils you can use on your face like avocado oil, rosehip seed oil, those two are my absolute favorites. They're super easy to get, they're super cheap, um, and they really do hydrate your skin and make it so soft. The tip that I have is to use a little bit more of a hydrating moisturizer at night, something that really is just thick and oily and greasy. I know even if you have oily skin, I'm telling you, do this. Make sure your skin is like freaking dolphin skin because that's really going to hydrate your skin, keep it plump, and save that moisture for the next couple of years. I've noticed a huge difference in my skin from using really good oils and from hydrating. It's just I don't stop using like serums and moisturizers and I know I hate the feeling of all this stuff on my face but I know in the long run it's really going to prevent wrinkles and fine lines and I'm just going to be a lot happier when the time comes for wrinkles. Another tip that I have is to look at the ingredients in your skincare. Natural skincare is the best way to go. I know a lot of people talk about this. Um, just don't give into the gimmicks that you see on TV. Just because it smells like grapefruit doesn't mean it's good for you. You don't need to exfoliate every day and you're really only supposed to exfoliate two to three times a week. Um, I exfoliate twice a week only because I used to have really bad acne so instead of just like scrubbing my face away, I made sure to cure the problem first and then I could work on um, kind of doing those extra steps to make my skin even better. It's all about just using vitamin infused cleansers with natural ingredients that are really just going to get into your skin 
and prevent any signs of aging. You don't need to use an anti-aging wash. I mean, unless you want to, that's even better, but there are some really good face washes out there. But just because they have so many good ingredients, you know they're gonna be good for your skin now and in the long run. It's really just, again, about hydrating, using good ingredients, and taking care of your skin now and preserving it, and just making sure it's taken care of. Um, you really don't need to be using crazy anti-aging products that are really harsh on your skin. Um, and, but it's whatever you can handle. If you want to do that, that's even better. That's great. Um, but you really don't need to. What I use is I just bring in an eye cream at night that has some anti-aging benefits to it. And that's really a good step if you're just starting out with your skincare routine. I would have been using an eye cream since I was about 19 years old because that's how much I care about my appearance and not getting wrinkles. That's probably sad, but you know what? It's fine. I've just always been so passionate about skincare um, and beauty, so I really have taken the time to research, and that's why I wanted to share all these tips with you. Now I'm going to show you some of the products that I use on my face every single day that I know are helping me prevent fine lines and wrinkles down the road. These are super gentle products um, that anyone can use, literally anybody, unless of course you're allergic to an ingredient, but even anyone younger than 19, 18, whatever, you can use it. That's what's great about natural skincare, is that it's great for any age or any stage of life. So, instead of normal makeup remover, I actually use this little guy right here, and that is avocado oil. Um, avocado oil is so, so good for your skin. It's so hydrating, and unlike coconut oil, um, it really doesn't clog your pores. Um, I really notice a difference in the texture of my skin, like it's so soft. Um, and I literally just put this all over my face at night to get the makeup off and it kind of dissolves. And then you um, rinse it with a cotton pad and water. This is getting those good oils into your skin and hydrating it. Because um, I know a lot of like makeup and for wipes I have a lot of alcohols. So this is going to dry your skin out and not be good for it for the, in the long run. It's just great to take your makeup off and like even your eyelashes are moisturized, which apparently you're supposed to do that. I have no idea. Um, but you're doing a lot of different steps with just this one product. This item has been repurchased by me probably about 30 times. I use this in the spa that I used to work at. We had all these products and this is Clarity RX. This is their cleanse daily. Um, this is the vitamin infused cleanser important to have vitamins in your skincare because again it's just taking care of your skin in the moment this has no like preservatives or chemicals or anything bad in it it literally has rosehip seed oil it has vitamin B olive oil and um, it even has a seaweed extract which is pretty cool uh, but it's super gentle that's why it's called cleanse daily um, and there's no bad ingredients and it's really really nice this is like the only cleanser from the line, I'm pretty sure. So it's really meant for any age, um, even if you are a little bit older and have wrinkles. It's still a great go-to product. When I do use a mask or exfoliate, this is what I like to use. And I got this from Ulta, I just found it on clearance because I'm cheap and that's what I buy myself from Ulta as a clearance section. Um, but it's the Bitter Green um, Clay Soothing Mask from Skin Food and it looks like this. I don't know if you can see that. Um, a lot of the ingredients are in Japanese, so I can't really... Oh wait, there's English on this side. There's so many good ingredients, and it actually uses like um, cabbage and broccoli and celery like in here, and it kind of turns it into like an exfoliant. Um, so this is a mask, but actually I use it as a mask. I let it sit for the 10 minutes, and then I use the little bits in there to exfoliate. So it's really a good two-in-one product. The ingredients are super great. There's really nothing bad in it. Um, a lot of like flower extracts. There's grapefruit and lemon oil. Like it's just all really, really good for your skin. I know physical exfoliants have kind of been like a controversy lately, but for me, it works for my skin. Right now, I haven't really found a good chemical one that I like so far, but you know, I just love this is a kind of a two-in-one type product. So I definitely check it out if you're an Ulta. The purifying mask, so what it's gonna do is it's gonna kind of keep, um, you know, pollution and dust and nastiness away from your pores and protect them, which I think is super great. So I love to use this about um, twice a week, sometimes once a week as I forget, um, but it's super important to add that into your skincare routine. Again, we're preventing, we're protecting, our skin for years to come. Moisturizer I use at night and during the day. 
is this Asano Rose Tip for Generating Facial Moisturizer. And it looks like this. I actually get it off Amazon, but you can find it at TJ Maxx sometimes. I think it's like a like a New Zealand based company, so you can't get it like in like regular stores. But it's actually better because you probably get a discount if it's at TJ Maxx. Um, so it says moisturize, condition, and regenerate. It has rose hip seed oil, jojoba oil, and shea butter. So then there's all those great oils, great moisturizing ingredients for your skin. Um, there's no parabens, sulfates, silicones animal testing or mineral oils or anything that's bad for your skin, which is why I love this brand. I actually use their shampoo. I used to use their micellar water as well, but I just switched out the cotton oil, obviously. Um, but they're a great brand on what they stand for. And again, I love rosehip seed oil. Rosehip seed oil is so good for so many things. Um, it's actually really good if you have um, acneic skin. Like if you're prone to breakouts and acne, it's really good at, at being antibacterial. So not only does it moisturize, but it's actually um, helping your acne and the bacteria that could grow on your face, which cause more breakouts. So the last product I have to show you is literally what I've been talking about this whole time, but it's extra rose hip seed oil. Um, you can get this anywhere. Um, I got this from TJ Maxx as well. It's just pure rose hip seed oil. I think there's vitamin E in it too. Um, let's see, yep, vitamin E. But those are the only two ingredients, so you really want to look for an oil with no additives. Um, I know a lot of times you'll see like a serum or something that's like, oh, it's just rose seed oil, or oh, it's just rose water, like a spray or something. But you should really like read the back, I'm telling you. It's a huge tip is to read the back, the labels, just to see what's in everything you're putting on your skin, what you're putting in your body. Um, so the less ingredients, the better. I actually put this in with my moisturizer together. So I have a rose hip seed oil moisturizer and a rose hip um, oil that I put together. So my skin is extra just glazed over um, because rose hip seed oil is just my favorite oil of all time. Um, I noticed my skin really benefits from it. And I think a lot of people my age will really benefit from rose hip seed oil. So I lied, I actually have two more products that I use every day that I have to show you. but. Um, so this is the chai tea eye cream that brightens and smooths and has chai tea antioxidants and turmeric. This is by Wamisa by Glow Recipe. I found this again in the sales section at Target. <laughs> um, but it just looks like this. And I just use that underneath my eyes after my moisturizer and the rosehip seed oil. And then sometimes I also <laughs> put it here by like these lines right here. So kind of like bring it down. Um, eye cream is basically just like a concentrated anti-aging lotion, so you can really put it anywhere. Um, it's super gentle. Let's try it. Um, I think it's really cool. I'm actually running out, so I have to find some more. Last tip is to don't forget to moisturize your lips at night, because that's also important. I do take my rose seed oil and put that over my lips um, when I'm doing my moisturizer at night and in the morning. Um, but then I go over it with a natural lip balm. This one's from TJ Maxx, I think. It's Avalon Organics Organic Lip Balm. Um, it has sunflower seed oil, olive oil, um, tea tree oil, there's hemp oil in it. Just so all the good oils. So these are just the products I use on a daily basis that help me prevent wrinkles and really keep my skin healthy right now. I only use really one specifically anti-aging product, um, but all the different oils I use are great for preventing wrinkles and they are actually anti-aging. Do not forget to take care of your skin because you don't want to get into your 30s and 40s and regret, you know, not making these decisions when you were younger. And it's super easy to do every day. This takes me about five minutes, um, day and night. Your skincare is just one step to becoming a better version of yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Um, like this video for more skincare tips because I have a lot of them. I was in school for way too long um, and I worked at a spa for a couple years so give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more skincare videos. Um, I will see you guys next time. Bye!